Hey everybody, how's it going? Renee here. Do you ever feel frustrated with the isolation you're experiencing during the shelter in place order? Well, I got a whole new idea of how someone in the Bible could relate to what you and I are going through in this ancient devotional I've been talking about that Lori and I have been reading. This is uh, over 80 years old, written in the Great Depression. And so almost every day is about how to handle difficulty. And I found it so relevant to what we're going through now. But I was reading recently in this devotional and it was talking about how John in the Bible ends up for years isolated on the island called Patmos. He was sent there. It was a prison island. He was basically in solitary living on this island, except for the guards, more or less all alone. And I love the way they talk about it here. Let me, let me, let me show you. They said, we can well imagine all his plans, ambitions, desires. Then suddenly, Patmos. What now became of all his hopes and longings, his plans and projects, surely he buried them all as he set foot on Patmos. They died when he first heard his sentence. They were interred with no prospect of a resurrection. Patmos was, for the beloved disciple, the island of buried hopes. Nothing to see alone. Ah, but John found it not so. And that is for sure. If you know what happened on the island of Patmos, while John is living in solitary in that lockdown environment, he writes the last, and some would say maybe one of the greatest books of the Bible, the book of Revelation. And it shows us how John made it through that time because he didn't limit his vision to his immediate physical environment. John was given a vision that went beyond that to Jesus and Jesus working among the churches, and then to heaven, and, and to the sovereign God working even in the midst of tough times. Let me show you the book of Revelation. John says that he saw a vision of Jesus, and he placed his right hand on me and said, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I'm the living one. I was dead, and behold, I'm alive forever and ever, and I hold the keys of death and Hades. And I love that because it's Jesus Christ who still holds the keys. He's the one who reigns, not anything that's going on around us, not any official, not any disease. Jesus Christ is the one who reigns. And listen to this. Chapter 21, he says in verse 4, he will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. And so maybe you feel like you're on your own island of Patmos right now during this shelter in place. I love the way they wrap up this devotion. Oh, the joy, even of Patmos, when it is filled with the presence of Jesus. Patmos has its compensations. I love that. Island of Patmos, maybe, but Patmos has its compensations. Think about that. And even in this shelter in place, you and I can have a good day.